Hi, welcome to Medicine with Dr. Moore. This video is about cardiac monitoring. First question is, what is cardiac monitoring? Well, thanks for asking that. It's a test that's often called a Holter monitor. So you'll often hear about this called a Holter monitor as opposed to a cardiac monitor. It's actually named after a physicist who invented the test, Norman Holter, back in 1949. It's essentially an ambulatory ECG test, means that, meaning that you get an ECG and you can wear the monitor for a period of time while we can see what your ECG is doing. We typically get two or three leads uh, in my laboratory, three leads, and you can monitor people for 28 to 48 hours and even much longer periods, such as up to a month. It allows us to look at the speed of the heart or any rhythm disorders that could be present. It also allows us to see what the heart rhythms do doing during any symptoms that you might have. This is a test that we often use to evaluate patient symptoms of lightheadedness, palpitations, and fainting. What is the process when you come to the lab for the monitoring? When you come to my laboratory, it's important that you remember that the appointment time's been reserved for you and the technician that'll put on the monitor. If for some reason you can't attend, please be respectful and call the office to reschedule. If you're a man who has a lot of chest hair, Ideally, it's best if the chest hair is shaved from the rib cage, the lower rib cage, all the way up to the neck. Uh, this is likely only in a small number of men. The whole point is, is that uh, the electrodes may not stick properly if they're sticking to hair, and it's uncomfortable when you take off these electrodes. We want to make sure there's good electrode contact with the skin. We tell people not to apply lotions or baby oil to their chest for 24 hours before or again, the electrodes may not stick well. On the day of the test, when you arrive for the procedure, the procedure itself will be reviewed with you by my staff. You'll be asked to sign the patient information form, giving consent that you've read and understand what we're doing and that you wish to have the test performed. What happens next? Well, we bring people into a private room, of course, and that's where the monitoring electrodes are applied to the chest. The electrodes then are hooked up to wires that lead to a small monitoring pack that will be concealed under your clothing. You will go home with the monitor, and so please take good care of it. You'll receive a diary sheet, which has all the instructions on it that you need to know. You have to remember that the diary is an essential part of the monitor. If you have any symptoms such as lightheadedness, dizziness, palpitations where the heart's fluttering or skipping beats or flip-flopping as some patients call it, chest pain, shortness of breath, press the large button on the recorder. That's important because that puts a, a time stamp and a particular spot that I know when I read the, the uh, actual data that you have pushed the button and I can take a look around that time to see if there's any abnormalities. Now when you push the big button you want to make sure you make a diary entry as well. So you want to say the time that you had the symptoms, how long the symptoms lasted, what kind of symptoms you had, this is crucial as it allows us to directly compare the symptoms you had with the ECG tracings at the exact same time they were recorded. Is there anything else that you should do? It's important when people wear these monitors. They're a piece of electrical equipment, of course, and so you shouldn't shower, get the leads wet, obviously swim, use an electric blanket, uh, or sweat profusely. Sweating can mean that the electrodes don't stick well and we get suboptimal quality tracings. If there are any problems with the leads, please call my office. On the diary, there's actually a diagram of where the leads and the electrodes go so that if one does come off, you can easily replace it. You can use any kind of tape to tape the electrode down on your chest wall and keep it in place. That's not a problem. 
Please follow normal activities, including work, meals, driving, sleep, exercise, and obviously exercise without significant sweating. You can take your medications. Uh, do not remove or disturb or scratch the electrodes on your chest. What should you do when the monitoring period is done? To complete the monitor, press the two outside buttons on our monitor for five seconds. You can then remove all of the electrodes, then place it in a bag and return the monitor to a staff member in my office after the monitoring period is over. The memory card inside the monitor is then downloaded for review. My staff will tell me when they've done that, and I will have an opportunity to look over the data over the period of time that you've been monitoring and correlate your symptoms to anything that you may have had. Once I've had a look at all the data, I will create a report and then I will send a secure report to your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching this video on cardiac monitoring. I hope this has been helpful to you knowing what it might be like to have this done. This is why I'm making these videos for my patients so they have an idea of what the different tests that we do here in my laboratory and other tests and procedures that I do. Thanks again for joining us.